Hey everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Graphs. I'm coming with the Valentine's Project, and there's pink! So, I started with this My Mind's Eye paper pad, paper pack, sorry, from Beth, Beth's Scrapbook Room. It's called Lucky in Love, and it has got some super cute papers in it. Really cute. And so, if you go back and look at my videos, last year I did a steampunk um, television, Valentine's television. So, you know, not to outdo last year, but I decided on a Valentine's radio. So, there is just a beginning peak of it. Hold on. There we go, a little better in focus. And I'll take the camera off the tripod in a minute and uh, show you all the details. Um, the first thing I did after I put the paper down um, was to whitewash it with just a little bit of gesso to kind of fade it back into the to background. And of course the radio itself is just made from, um, I think it's actually a taquitos, a couple of taquitos boxes. I'll save anything, frozen food, that the food doesn't actually come in contact with the box. If the food's wrapped inside, I'll save the box and reuse it. I don't have, other than ordering it online, and ordering 12 by 12 anything is is expensive online, not to mention chipboard. So locally, I don't, there's nowhere to buy any chipboard. So even my Walmart doesn't carry it. So I might have to say something to the, to the craft department manager about getting some chipboard. That would be a good idea. Anyway, back to the project. So, after I put the paper down, gessoed it, I painted the box, first of all, I'm sorry, with a buttermilk. Um, it's actually, um, is that the one? <laughs> yeah, it's an Americana paint. I'm sorry, it's a buttermilk Americana acrylic paint. Then put the paper down, then gessoed it. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. And then I just cut myself a little stencil out of some packaging. Uh, a little sticker thing I got for my grandkids. Um, and just cut out some hearts and mixed some pink. Uh, it's actually called Fuchsia. Um, Ceramco by Delta. And I mixed that with some gesso and just did a little uh, mm -hmm, stenciling on the background. Okay, take a breath. Then after that, I, I I went back and forth on what to do for a speaker. So I had this wooden heart cut out in my stash. It had come from a garage sale or something years ago. And I mean years ago because it was that 80s um, country blue kind of color. And all scratched up and everything. So I gessoed it and then painted it pink. And then I went over the top of it with this um, sparkly netting stuff that I got from Stephanie, Little Red Wagon Studio. And oh my gosh, it's so pretty. She sent me several colors of that. So I, I, I laid it on top of the heart, but then I couldn't come up with a way really without it showing to glue it to the heart. So of course I glued it, I clipped all the edges like you would do with fabric. And then folded them back and glued it on the back side. And then after I got that laid down, the edge was a little too distinct between this faux speaker and the box. So I put this um, mesh bling that I also got from Stephanie. And so I cut a couple of strips of that and went around the went around the heart. The little music notes. <laughs> This is pretty funny because these just come from the dollar store. And they're these foam stickers. And I actually bought these for my grandson to to play with. He's always, you know, wanting to make stuff. So he usually will get a toilet paper roll and decorate it or something. So I, I thought it was funny that I found a use <laughs> for myself. So that's the musical notes. Um, what else did I have out here that I, and the butterfly up here on top was also from Beth. She sent me a whole little, um, 
Valentine themed kind of pack and I really appreciate it. I've had lots of fun with it so far. And so the other thing I have out here is a set of stickers but um, they were also from Beth. They're just um, miscellaneous. They don't have any sort of name. At all. But I've used a bunch of those on the little um, tag mini album. Mm, loose mini album. Mm, not even sure what to call it. Um, on that. So before I take the camera off the tripod, I may go ahead and try to finish on the tripod. This is a polymer clay knob that I made. And I really wanted it to say like, you know, remember how on old retro radios like this? All it would say was like low and high. And the button would be your on off and your low and your high volume. So I did that, but I couldn't bring myself to actually put lettering on there. I thought it would stand out too much. Same thing with the dial up here. I just wanted it to give you that feeling of that it's a radio. So um, I went ahead and clipped off some of those little um, mesh bling and put in the center of the little hearts. And they're on the ends and on the back as well so I'll try to make it pretty all the way around sorry that's a little close and then back to the front okay and of course these are all my handmade flowers and um, these are the flowers from the video tutorial I just did with the bead in the center. And uh, I meant to mention in the, in the video, you can do the bead in the center without the fancy uh, folds on the flowers and do the same kind of free flow flower. The bead is just to give you something to glue to instead of trying to glue those first couple of petals to each other. Uh, handmade carnation. Um, one of my fabric, one of my fabric flowers. Um, these are some little fabric flowers that I got. Um, I think I actually showed them in a haul, and I don't remember what they came with. <laughs> that was when I bought my husband. I didn't show him in a haul, maybe, but I had gone and bought my husband a bunch of um, ten cent T-shirts at a resale shop because for welding and stuff like that. You know, he goes through them so fast that you can't beat a 10 cent t-shirt. So, as you come on around, then there's some more of the flowers. A couple of more flowers up here at the top. Let's see if I can show the top. Well. Yeah, maybe not very well, but there you go. So. And then in the hole in the top, it almost looked like a toaster while I was making it. If anybody's thinking that, you're exactly right. I will take the camera off the tripod, or at least move the, uh, that's it. I'll move the radio out of the way. <clears throat> well, that might be a better look at it anyway. My camera tripod is just very precarious at this angle, so. As long as I don't bump it, we're good. So, there's another shot. And I'm going to move it out of the way just a minute. So, I'm, I wanted to make a tag mini album. And I really wanted it to have a ring at the top. And stuff. But it was just going to show too much. I didn't really want that ring to be the focal point of, of the radio. So, I just printed out some vintage um, Valentine images. Printed about pretty small to use in this little loose tag mini. So this is one of the stickers from that sticker sheet that I just showed. And so is the little heart. And they've just got her little Valentine Day will be a groove. Valentine's Day will be a groove. Another one of the flowers that uh, are from the tutorial. And the front tucks underneath that flower on the front page. So each one has a little belly band 
with a little vintage Valentine card. Let's strike up a match, Valentine. And I'm sorry, but I'm old enough to remember geeky Valentine's cards like that. Back before the day when they had um, Disney characters on them and stuff. Well, I guess you would get Mickey Mouse ones and stuff. So each one of them just has a little um, photo mat. Sort of photo mat. <laughs> Journaling spot, whatever. And of course you could tuck photos in the belly band behind the... So, and a big spot for a photo on the back of each page. So, there's the first one. Here's the second one. And these are those little um, stamp sets from the dollar store, the little foam stamp sets. Um, I just thought they would be cute. So a couple more of the stickers from the sticker sheet. Um, I just freehanded this little scalloped edge oval because I don't have a die for that. A little bigger photo mat. Um, a little ticket that's from that sticker sheet. And what I did was I just, um, I put all those on a piece of manila colored cardstock. And then I cut, fu fussy cut that out. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And then just glued it down on the bottom edge just to make a little, uh, not really a pocket, but a pocket. <laughs> And so I just thought this one was so cute. Let's go together. I just love that one. <laughs> I don't know why it reminds me of my husband and I when we were younger, but uh, not the car necessarily, but just that we used to go for drives and, you know, back when gas wasn't a bazillion dollars a gallon. Just to go for a drive. Isn't that lovely? Uh, where we live right now, my husband and I, years ago, I'm not kidding, for 20 years, um, we would come out here and go fishing. There's a national grasslands all around us. So we'd come out here and go fishing and camping and stuff like that. And for 20 years, we would say, wouldn't it be great if we lived out here? Wouldn't it be great if we lived out here? I mean, through the even through when the... Uh, speed limit went back down to 55 and it would take forever to get here we'd still when we leave we'd say man wouldn't it be nice if we lived out of here and now we do and i won't say we never go fishing and camping but we rarely go camping and that has more to do with age than anything else and the fact that you can come home and take a shower and sleep in your own bed um but we still enjoy fishing so although we went to our favorite fishing hole from back in those days um, a couple of weeks ago, and it was like, it was what, like watching a catastrophe on the news, because there was almost no water in the lake, I mean, literally almost none, and I, I got all, uh, tight-throated, and really not very happy about it, so, in, in 30 plus years, we've never seen it that low, so, again, with the little wallet photo mat two of the little flowers from the sticker sheet that I made a little pocket out of this one I thought was so cute I'm gonna pop a corny question will you be my valentine and that's so cute I love those and again with a couple of the foam stamps some uh, floaty hearts love 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 all from the sticker sheet Another big heart from the sticker sheet that I just mounted on the manila paper. Another little photo uh, wallet. And I did those out of my scraps that were left over. A little belly band with a sticker. And this one says, You've stolen my heart. Be my valentine, will you? Aren't they just cute? I just thought they were so cute. And it went so cute with the paper. I just thought everything just went with the paper. So cute. All that retro 
kind of theme. Valentine's Day, um, Happy Valentine's Day from the sticker um, sheet. I actually had to cut the day off the end because it was one long sentiment. And there was no way, unless I literally stuck it up and down vertical, that it was going to fit. So, a couple of the other foam um, stickers from the uh, foam stamps from the dollar store. And I stuck a heart over the heart uh, arrow on the arrowhead. <laughs> arrowhead on the arrow. Oh my lordy. And then another one of the little floaty hearts. <sighs> another one of the photo mats. Sticker from the sticker sheet mounted on the. And I just cut those out with my pinking shears, obviously. Another little belly band. This time I've put two. I just couldn't resist. They went together so perfectly. To my Valentine, if you don't say yes, I'll rope you anyway. Me want them heap much. You be mine. Me give um you this Valentine. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is just... I was just in third grade again. Isn't that so funny? When you were terrified of getting a valentine from that boy, but you wanted that other boy to get one for sure. So hilarious. So. <laughs> There's my little tag mini. Un unbound tag mini. And the little retro radio. And I have to say, and I, I, I don't like saying this, but I have to say I'm really proud of this one. Because it's so, this one and the last one, the Christmas uh, altered box are so outside of my usual crafty style. Although not, if that makes any sense. My color, my color palette, I should say. And uh, I'm glad to be um, trying out some new colors. I'm not a pink girl, I'm not a shabby chic girl, but uh, I like to throw in a little pink anytime I can, just to prove to myself I can do it. And I intended, <laughs> in my original idea of this project, for there to be lace in it somewhere, but I just couldn't make it happen. So anybody who watches me often knows that that is my Achilles heel. Lace. I, I, one of these days, I'll figure it out. If I keep watching everybody else, I'll figure it out. So, alright, that's all I've got for today. Um, hope everybody uh, is looking forward to the weekend, because I am. We've been having some nice weather here in the 60s almost every day. Starts out, you know, right, right around freezing, but warms up nicely. So, that's it for me today. I will holler at y'all later. Bye now.